Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Uh, so today we will, I mean, see how RSI, how we can use RSI in our trading. But actually, before starting, let me uh, tell that this is not a substitute. I mean, we cannot, I mean, enter into a trade just based on RSI and all the basic things we should know. Like, see, this is the chart of Vedanta. So you should know that what exactly is the range. Like, uh, see, uh, suppose price is... Uh, at this point, if it made a turn and it made it go, it went to this high. So you should know that this, this top is a resistance and this bottom is acting as a support. But see, at this moment, only this much price action was available. But you can see in future also, whenever price went to this area, it always protect, I mean, prevented the price to move ahead. And similarly, whenever price went to this area on the bottom it made the price to stop so this is all basic information and you cannot substitute rsi with it so you should always know basic information and then you can confirm the trade with rsi we will learn more about this so uh, let us see uh, and and the other in the previous first lecture i i mean i mentioned about trend lines so that is also one important tool that we should always use. Like when price is below this trend line. So it is a ranging market now. See, in once this range is broken, I mean, on the trend line, it got broke. So you see the price is between these two ranges. So suppose now price is here. The first, what will we think now price? We have to buy or we have to sell because now this is a resistance, well-proved resistance and never price has never broken out of this range. So we are not expecting mark price to go above. If it breaks, then we will think different. But before, if price is approaching and we see a bearish candle, so we are expected that price is reversing back and a good trade will be only at this level. So all these are basic things. Now see what RSI, RSI is basically a momentum indicator. Uh, so RSI, if, uh, now whenever you are trading, if you have to select stocks that are RSI is greater than 50. So if I draw one line at, uh, suppose at the 50th level. So this is a monthly, uh, let me go to the monthly chart first. So line is at 50. So I see whenever it uh, goes below 40 and again it goes back to 50, it now uh, it tells me that now momentum is strong. So you can see whenever price goes above 50, like here it, it goes in a strong momentum. And whenever price see, falls below 50, it, it also now falls. So uh, till uh, till now, any questions till now? Any questions? Can anyone unmute? No, it's clear. Okay. So. Oh, okay. Before moving further in the last lecture, in the first, uh, is there any doubt? Because I got some messages, uh, people had doubts. So uh, any doubt on the previous session? The one which we um, based on trend line and inverse head and shoulders pattern. So I am thinking no doubt as of now. So let me move further. So now suppose you are, uh, suppose you are here and uh, now you are planning a trade in this. So when will you plan a trade? The first, the first step you will see is my stock RSI. If now suppose you're a long term, maybe monthly, weekly level, my RSI, is it greater than 50 or not? So at this point, if it is greater than 50, then I will, I mean, see now this qualifies. Now I have already selected, but I will not enter in this stock. Uh, this is just a first criteria of stock selection. Now, blind, now suppose at this moment, uh, the RSI, monthly RSI is below 50. So I will straight away reject the stock. Uh, 
now many times people ask is it good time to invest in this team um, on core of full people are only asking questions is this uh, good right time to invest in any stock so first thing basic thing you can do is check the rsi RSI is falling from 75 to 49. So it means there is significant drop in the momentum and you can see big candles also. So it means the momentum is shifting. So you will not invest now, right? In a stock like this, in which RSI is monthly RSI. See, suppose at this moment also, when RSI went below 50, you saw a significant downside after that, right? So whenever stock is below 50, straight away reject the stock. This is a monthly RSI, and the problem which the problem with RSI is that people trade RSI on a small interval. Suppose I use fifteen minutes in this, and this now if I apply the same concept here, you will see RSI going below fifty and immediately coming up also, because if if it is I mean fifteen minute chart. Majorly for the next 30 minutes, 40 minutes, it will stay below, right? So it will be very quick to react to these indicator. But if you are using it a very high time frame, like monthly, weekly, daily, then there will be significant time to adjust and react. So if as a beginner, always use is I mean, uh, these indicators on a very high time interval, so that you get sig significant amount of time to react to these trades, and. Uh, this is only the criteria to, I mean, see now, suppose RSI was above like here. So this is just the first criteria that, yeah, this has some momentum and in the future, uh, this may show more up move. So now suppose th I take this candle broke the, let me re uh, re uh, re uh, remove this. So now you can see uh, at this moment of time, RSI went above the 50, right? So uh, now this, uh, the first criteria is solved that RSI has become greater than 50. Now we will apply similar like uh, other concepts which I have already uh, taught that. Now if I draw a trend line with this point to this point, I can see there is a trend line breakout also. So whatever we have learned, I mean qualifies here, right? Now see if I move to lower time frame, like weekly i now again i see some pattern here right this is the same pattern which we have discussed in the first uh, lecture uh, let me draw it so is the pattern uh, visible to everyone uh, is it visible are you able to determine this pattern yeah yeah it is okay so see how uh, now now suppose I, I just know about this pattern but now i am also including two other factors that on a higher time interval monthly the momentum is with on my side because rsi is 50 and and most on the time whenever you see rsi greater than 50 on a monthly time interval it means we will there is a good possibility that we may see big candles in our favor in the coming months which means next four, five, six months, we may see big candles in our favor. Even even if, suppose now I go to a smaller, no, so, uh, suppose four hours. Even if, even if it goes against our, I mean, direction, there is a good chance it will recover because the higher, higher time interval is in our favor. The momentum is in our favor. So this is this is a so this is how you apply multiple time uh, I mean charts into your direction like on a higher always check the higher time interval momentum momentum is in your right so now go to weekly you see some you don't have to check RSI on every time interval fix one time interval where you have to check the RSI suppose you are checking that on monthly now on the weekly you see you see a bullish pattern you see trend line breakout you can enter. This is this is known as confluence when you add multiple factors and you trade based on multiple directions and more importantly see this is a trade from you can see previously this was the first time it reacted second time third time also so i mean on you see past history also this point is very important and it has proved to be a reversal 
so this is how you take help of rsi is it clear or any doubts till now any questions till now we are getting a sense of the concept okay so let us see uh, how you can see some different charts so there may be some exceptions also like uh, so let us see some uh, what else you need to do uh, see similar so chart the one the, the danta the one that you had projected so uh, the synopsis of it is that on a long term the rsi uh, gets a reversal around and currently it is at a 50 level 49 as in 50 level and on a weekly frame we also get a bullish pattern and looking at the past performance the way vedanta had uh, turn around though it signifies a bullish pattern that might be a bearish uh, job that might come in but with a very high chance that it would uh, go for a bull run in near future yeah see this now we have to take some trade we at this point we are not sure whether this will go less or it will go in the opposite direction so now Got it is it. all about taking the chances so but we will take the chance where the probability is very high and how will we make sure that probability is high we will check all these suppose a the momentum is great. now you cannot lie that momentum see on a one on a one hour you can there can be a uh, moderation that uh, someone has influenced the market today and the early rsi is greater but uh, this moderation cannot happen on a monthly basis no one can manipulate the market on a monthly basis uh, you cannot uh, mostly i mean because for 30 days you cannot manipulate the market straight away and uh, make sure the momentum crosses 50 and then you get a bullish pattern and that reverses it the momentum has to continue for some few months maybe two months three months but if the momentum see in this case also momentum is not there is a difference at 50 level if 50 level is coming from top it is bearish but see from 25 it is coming to this level it means there is significant momentum that has brought the market from this level to this level correct see many times people they they kind of predict the bottom in this area because they are always now is it the right time like here is it the right time to invest is it the right time to invest but right time to invest is when you see this turn around you you see price also turning rsi is also turning right correct because we don't know we don't know whether this will happen at this level or this this can go to i mean from any level this can happen but we 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 can we are we can only wait for this to happen right absolutely this is on a very long time frame uh, this is a monthly chart right right uh, but looking at it today uh, so there is a reverse uh, reversal but at a weekly level and at a daily level right the on a monthly level also i like i said the rsi has fallen from 76 to this for below 50 levels so it means um, and whenever you see this happen see this happened here and there was significant downside after that it happened here there was significant downside after that uh, check every time it happened here there was significant downside after that it happened here uh, and there was downside so you can back test this but it is it says that this is not a good stock as of now this so sorting this sort makes sense to, uh, at this moment so uh, come again your question so i think this sort makes sense today no i mean this is not see this is a monthly time frame so how yeah. how can how can you if you are a positional shorter then then okay then but like i said this is not the criteria to enter or like this is this uh, i mean webinar is only for investment and this is not for shorting or not for that and even on suppose no, no, the I, I'm, I'm, i i i get the point sorry i was saying in this case this yeah, looks like yeah, that yeah suppose you want you want you are a intraday or you are a positional uh, i mean trader and you are looking for a short uh, stock uh, in which you want to short 
so this should be the first criteria choose stocks whose are monthly rsi is less than 50 it means the it uh, it is a weak stock as of now now if on a daily basis if you see similar some pattern uh, you see a negative pattern and negative candlestick anything you can apply and then you can enter right now suppose you um, see i'm sorry i i drove the conversation into a different mm -hmm. direction that you were trying to teach but uh, just in conversations from the trend from the learnings that we yeah. have had uh, from your uh, because i just tried to uh, link all yeah, of the that uh, is, yeah no l i mean let us focus on this point rsi greater yeah. than 50 means that this stock is applicable for investment but that doesn't mean right away you will enter because we, we have, have to we, we have to check the, uh, other uh, other uh, factors uh, also like i focus yeah. there is a trend line breakout there is a bullish pattern only one pattern we discussed in the previous session if you see similar thing then you can take the chance because if you take 10 times almost 6 7 times you will win in this case so it, okay. it is it is just to I mean, maximize the probability in your favor and you have to yeah. be aware see you have to be aware of these points like where is the stoppage this is a pretty high interval chart like three months so you have to be aware of these where the stock is reversing and where it is finding support where it is rejecting yeah understood okay so let me go back to So if if we do the similar exercise, uh, is my voice audible? Yes, sir. Yes, loud and audible. Yeah. So let, let let us do the similar exercise for uh, this stock. Now see uh, this. Uh, it appears to be a resistance at this moment, right? This is. Uh, let me erase all this. This has not happened, right? And this appears to be. A support now if, if i erase this see it has never see how these point i mean uh, small analysis helps us where is this uh, uh, what is the range it uh, i mean in a uh, very easy way it tells us what is the range of this stock so now now if you now at this point let us apply the same concept on rsi it goes to 50 now suppose now we have one more concept like trend line this point this uh, this price action broke this point so we can join this trend line and you can see third time also even if rsi was greater than 50 there was a reversal at this point now let us see where was the Now suppose uh, similarly, if we we have taken this trade, uh, it didn't go so far from this level, but it I mean it took resistance from this and reversed. So the point which I am trying to say that we ha we should be aware of these resistances also. Like in Vedanta, there was no such uh, resistance and it cleared that resistance. But in this case, if there is a so we should be aware that if we are taking a trade here if we see any negative reversal here like on a monthly chart if we see any uh, candles or something trend line breakout then that is also the time to uh, book profit or if you are entered using this pat i mean technique like in this case it is again the similar pattern right it is the same pattern but the target was not achieved in this and halfway it reverse let me uh, show you what i'm saying so in this case the target was not achieved and in between it reversed right so is this point clear or not is this point clear yes yes what I mean it to seems say, to achieve the target, na? It, it is touching the trend line that you have gone. Pardon? 
See, target is not is, target of target of the pattern. Oh, tar- is, it's, it's the bottom bottom part. Sorry, my bad. My bad. Target of my bad. target of inverse head and shoulder pattern is actually. Yeah. Uh, 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 sixty-five the, plus uh, thirty. Ninety-five. Actually, it it even in this it is. I think it is achieved because if you see this point, this is sixty-eight, sixty-eight, and this is twenty-four. So it uh, it is six. It is forty-four above sixty-eight. So around uh, hundred twelve. But it fell short. It fell short. Yeah. But now, so suppose you are in the last uh, first, uh, I mean, uh, webinar. We discussed that even if the target is not achieved, we have to prevent our profit, right? So maybe it is yeah, a tra- the stop loss concept. St- uh, yeah, the high pre. You have to, um, I mean, Monitor take note of the trailing high, stop high loss. Trend. Even if you draw a trend line, you can see there is a trend line. There is a. Bullish, I mean bearish candle right at the can, uh, trend line, and it broke the previous trailing stop loss also. So you pretty much know that uh, what it what it is going to happen in the because all these are signs of bearishness also. Like here, this was the point that you have already marked when the stock was here. Now see on this point, if you are getting, I mean this is a clear. If you know candlestick, this is. Uh, a clear reversal and candlestick pattern. If you if you draw trend line, um, I don't think there is the you can draw trend line here because it is pretty much. Uh, I mean, in one line. But if you go to weekly charts, there may be a chance to draw trend line. Like in this case, if you connect these points, you can clearly see that trend line broke the weekly RSI. See, fifty. As soon as it So is it is it bearish or bullish? It became bearish when it uh, broke the uh, trend line. Plus, check the RSI also. Yeah, it went down below fifty. So now, now you now if you're a I mean trader and you want to short, you will choose this stock, right? This and, stock. Uh, yeah, and moment. and the moment see on the early time frame. You can get bullish pat, bullish breakouts also and bearish, but you will only consider bearish ones in this now, because they will be very fast. And in fact, after after just uh, I mean this breakdown, it it went from one hundred four to uh, I mean sixty seventy levels, right? It went to sixty levels. Just, just this basic concept of momentum, trend line, uh, support, resistance. So, anyone having any questions? You, this is the right time to, I mean, ask because many time people send DMs on Telegram because this is the best time to explain it. Explain it. Any doubt? Any stock you want me to take so that how th- these similar concepts we can apply there? Anyone stuck in any stock? Um, uh, hi, Sanita. Yeah. Uh, can we check LG Equip? Uh, what is this LG? E L G I E. Okay. Yeah. That, yes. See, uh, this is very, I mean, bullish stock, but it also now you have to see where it became bullish. So, which is the first point? Also, now you have to while checking. Suppose this is a monthly time frame. You have to first see RSI went above fifty here. But the the condition which is it has to met is that it has to fall and from uh, oversold levels it has to 
become bullish it cannot happen like suppose uh, it falls from this and then it again go again goes above 50 and you are thinking bullishness the first the first point you have to see is that it has to become bearish first like in this case it went below 40 and then again it picked the momentum and uh, at this moment you can see it went above 50 uh, now if i uh, see at this moment the stock becomes eligible uh, see how uh, see the momentum from 111 to 400 just on rsi it showed us to the future now many people say that indicators are lagging but it does i mean it is not the same for rsi because rsi it is actually a leading indicator because it tells the momentum and in terms of uh, and the concepts like i have taught you uh, uh, divergences so divergences the rsi in uh, at I mean beforehand it tells us what can happen so RSI is actually a uh, leading indicator not a lagging indicator like moving averages if you apply those are lagging indicator but the RSI is a leading indicator so our uh, now as per our concept it became I mean the stock selection it became uh, I mean the first criteria was met here when it went above uh, 50 levels now after that now you can see it is again i mean at a very high momentum right so now you cannot make fresh entry because uh, you have to see the that buyers are making money from this so you have to wait for some uh, it to get bearish and then again make make the entry right because suppose it keeps on going like this and makes a big fall so you will be caught in the middle never start a trade in middle unless and until suppose on a weekly daily time frame it uh, now you can see here it did not i mean became oversold so let it become oversold uh, on a smaller time interval or maybe on a daily let let us see see like like uh, here it became oversold it crossed the 50 again and you can see again from 300 it has went to 450 so is is this i'm clear what i'm trying to say yeah so don't i mean don't uh, check this rsi on lower check the momentum on daily weekly monthly now suppose you are an intraday trader uh, you can apply one hourly uh, one hourly rsi one r r suppose rsi is below 50 then then if you are trading on a five look for like this candle now rsi is not uh, no let me one more window. now rsi becomes less than 50 now suppose now you are want to trade tomorrow so you have to look for um, bearishness only if you are an intraday trader on a five minute chart is this concept clear or let me repeat it again now suppose you are an intraday trader okay. so what you can do select the stock any stock suppose tcs check the hourly hourly momentum draw the 50 level here 50 i mean rsi is below 50 so only look for bearishness in the stock suppose if you are on a if you see on a 15 minute if you see something a trend line breakout or any pattern like we discuss like this okay. then go for it but okay. if you see the reverse then that is not what you have planned because you have planned bearishness as per early okay. so uh, this concept is known as the momentum the uh, for intraday the early momentum is important for uh, swing trading the daily uh, momentum is important See, in this case, once now, suppose you want to initiate a swing, swing trade daily, uh, daily RSI becomes above 50 and see swing trade is good. It matches the condition that from oversold, it has gone above 50 and when to exit. See, RSI beforehand can tell you when to exit. Uh, and the first criteria which is we have said that if it again falls below 50 that is a good uh, criteria to exit if if there is some trend line here 
and it breaks that trend line that is a good time to exit if you see the trailing stop loss that hits you can exit or if you know the target of the pattern that is achieved you can exit okay. so uh, everyone got the concept what we were trying to teach today yes any any basic question you have you can ask it we have 6 minutes or any doubt on the previous lecture also so so when checking this rsi uh, is it that we have to uh, see that it is uh, you know sustaining over the same uh, 50 uh, rsi that you said and then enter see, something like, like i that? said if you are if you are checking the momentum on a uh, monthly time in and it has fallen uh, any time you uh, let, see at this time uh, the moment it cross 50 this only becomes our stock selection we have not taken any entry in this case at this moment right so we have to see further action but this is just now you you see now how to make a watch list so this can be one criteria that moment strong momentum stocks rsi greater than 50 it becomes i mean it is part of our watch list rsi is greater than 50 now on a weekly time interval or any daily or like that case if you see any breakout any uh, anything you can see that uh, there is a pattern like this so if you see these patterns it means now momentum is also on our side we see a bullish pattern then only we have to take the trade okay uh, once the once the rsa crosses 50, uh, 50 so uh, it immediately it will not reverse because for a month it has to stay like this even if it is reversing like this uh, and on a smaller time interval you will you will see that there is a resistance and it will not clear that resistance it will reverse or there will be a trend line resistance here and just it will touch this and reverses like this and you will see that there is a trend line resistance also so all all these simple things you have to check okay got so anyone else any questions so uh, what is the i mean uh, what is the i mean with summary of today's uh, meeting is that first step is to check check the momentum now if you want to investment depending on your uh, style long term investment check the rsi weekly monthly if that is if that is great i mean greater than 50 after being oversold then you you can i mean select those stocks once that stock is selected go to smaller time interval and see whether we see any bullishness we see trend line breakouts we see bullish patterns uh, so that will be once if we see that then you can go for the investment or trade so this is uh, this was the i think uh, i mean is it useful or not yes because see what happens if you don't many people say they uh, i mean they are proud that they use price action because many time now you will see things like this let me show see if you are a price action trader this is this will be the best time to enter right because good volume good candle but if but if you are if you you can see the momentum at this point how because at this level rsi was here now at this point rsi is here so price action trader will definitely fall this trap but if you add the momentum indicator you can see the momentum at this point is not up to the mark it was here so you should you sh there is uh, there is no i mean uh, it will give a good result if you combine all this with momentum also so uh, could read this i have uh, i have uh, selected this a couple of days back looking at the price numbers oh could could you please repeat this part again please 
Uh, see, uh, there is one minute. Let me uh, get it quickly. Uh, see, it was a breakout, and if you are only trading price action, then you will fall for this trap because high volume breakout, you will enter the trade, and this is a monthly chart also. But if you are a, you apply RSI also to it. You you see that RSI at this point is at this point uh, very high compared to this, which means momentum is less at this point. because this is known as divergence so it means price will reverse because momentum is less is it clear partly i will go back to the yeah you can uh, check myself. it yeah i have again and again share this concept in the group and i i think we have to stop because time is over so thanks for attending and if any doubts please dm thank you thank you sandeep ji yeah thank you yeah.